Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I will be showing you guys how you can add a fade out effect to your videos in the InShot editing app for your mobile devices. Now, uh, let's get right into it since the process is really simple. Uh, when you open up the app, this is the screen that you'll be met with. As you can see, you have three main options, the left of which we want, which is the video option. However, you can either choose a video, photo or collage, whatever you want. Uh, we, as I've said, will choose the video option and you'll be taken to your gallery. Now, when you're actually here, you want to select any video. Here is pretty much every video you have saved on your device. Uh, you can either choose a video, a photo or both at the same time uh, to list. And we'll just choose a video and we'll choose the first one. Confirm your choice with the green check mark in the bottom right and you'll be taken to this screen. Now, when you're actually here, uh, you'll see your frame where you're, you're currently on displayed in the middle of your screen. Below that is a play button for you to play the video and preview it. And you have the toolbar below that. And below that you have your video track of the video you've selected. Each frame is pretty much here. And you can add another by clicking on the plus icon. Uh, now, since we want to add a fade out video in the toolbar, you want to search for the animation slide or rather the animation button. And since we want to fade out, not fade in, we want to choose the out option that it's right below the video. Now, uh, as you can see, the first one is the fade option. Just click on that. Uh, this slider will pop up. This slider denotes where you want your fade out to start. We'll just keep it right at the end of the video as we want and just click the check mark to confirm our choice. When we actually do that, if I go a bit before the end and play the video to preview it, as you can see, the fade out plays just as expected. And that's pretty much it. To save your video, just click on save in the top right and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it informative and I'll see you guys in another video.